good morning students in this video we can discuss about dynamic programming code generation so in last video we was discussed about optimal code generation for the expression tree so in this video we can discuss about how to generate the uh, code generation for dynamic programming so already in last video we was observed some algorithm that is 8.26 algorithm so by using that algorithm we are generating the target code for optimal code for expression tree so so that particular algorithm is efficiently or effectively worked for whenever we are generating the target code by using register memory only so but uh, this procedure can works for some several machines in which all computations is done in register memory only so that means optimal code for expression trees are can be suitable at uh, best suitable for so whatever the machines or whatever the computations can be done in register memory only so such type of machines uh, can be effectively implements the optimal code evaluation so but uh, while we will go for implementing the any target code by using the dynamic programming at that time so optimal code generation is not suitable so for that purpose we should modify we should modify some features in the above algorithm so that is so so is there an algorithm so which is based on the principle of dynamic programming so it can be used to extend the class of machines for which optimal code can be generated from the expression trees in linear time so that means so actually whenever we are using the optimal code generation so those are not suitable for the dynamic programming target code generation so for that purpose we choose another algorithm so this algorithm is suitable for generating the dynamic programming so in this dynamic programming algorithm so which applies a broad class of registers that means which can having the efficient number of registers but in previously optimal code generation algorithm it was having only some limited number of registers but in dynamic programming algorithms it can applies or it can performing the target code generation with the help of efficient registers or large number of registers so then the dynamic programming algorithm can be used uh, to generate the target code for any instruction or for any machine so with the help of some r registers so those registers are numbered from r not to r r minus 1 so and then also these registers can able to perform the load operation store operation and add instructions also so for simply so whenever we assume there is some instruction or every instruction so that cost is one unit so although the dynamic programming algorithm can also easily modify their work to each and every instruction on this one cost so now we are we observe how to we can evaluate the continuously dynamic program in dynamic target code generation dynamic programs target code generation so in this dynamic programming algorithm so partitions is the uh, to perform in, to divide the several partitions of generating the optimal code so that means first of all we generate we divide the several partitions and then generate the optimal code so optimal code for the an expression so this optimal code can be developed for an expression which can be involves some sub expressions also so to easily generating the that particular optimal code so here the, for example we consider some simple example so we consider there is some instruction e so which contains some expression like as e1 plus e2 so to evaluate this particular expression in optimal manner so we can evaluate we can load whatever the value of e1 and e2 into the registers and then evaluate in any order right like, like either r1 plus r2 either or r2 plus r1 in any manner we can able to evaluate it so that is the one advantage with optimal code evaluate evaluation so that's why right. so first of all we can combine whatever the optimal code or optimal program for the expression 1 and then expression 2 after that we can perform the addition operator so first of all we can evaluate expression 1 after evaluate expression 2 after completion of ex uh, evaluating expression 1 and expression 2 uh, the results can be performs the addition operation then we are getting the whatever the value of e so in this manner so that means this expression can have actually e1 plus e2 so that means this particular expression can be divided into sub expressions like as e1 is one sub expression and e2 is another sub expression in this manner we can divide that particular expression into 
several sub expressions and then perform the optimal code generation so in optimal code generation so while well, we will go for generating the optimal program or uh, the optimal code generation dynamic for dynamic programming algorithm so which was uh, having some important property so that is so it can evaluate an expression like as z equals to e1 operator e2 so we consider one more expression how we can evaluate a dynamic programming evalu uh, target code generation for the, that particular expression so that is e equals to e1 operator e2 so here operator means which can have any addition any subtraction or any arithmetic operator so then if this particular expression can be continuously performing the their ex evaluation or their expression uh, this particular expressions can be continuously evaluated so for that purpose uh, we can appreciate so whatever the meaning by the syntax tree for this particular expression that means we can first of all evaluate some syntax tree so based on that syntax tree whatever the meaning of that particular syntax tree based on that meaning we can evaluate the this particular expressions or these dynamic programming expressions for example there is uh, some syntax tree like in this manner there is some operator and the left child is t1 and right child is t2 so that means t1 is some sub tree and t2 is some sub tree so that means t1 is a some sub expression sub expression related syntax tree t2 is the some sub expression related syntax tree so while we will go for evaluating this particular uh, syntax tree or this particular expression so first we can evaluate t1 so that means sub expression or sub tree 1 so after com completion of this particular sub expression we can evaluate t2 so after completion of t2 we can perform the whatever operator in between these two expressions in this manner we can evaluating the dynamic programming so whatever the algorithm was used for generating the uh, uh, to evaluating the dynamic programs so here to evaluating the dynamic programs we are using the some dynamic programming algorithm so this dynamic programming algorithm can have three procedures or three phases so those are first one is compute the bottom up for each node n of the expression in syntax tree t so that means so first rule is we can compute from bottom to top so in this approach we can evaluate each and every node and each and every label so that is the first one so in this manner we are we are having some sufficient registers like either 1 less than or equal to i less than or equal to r so here number of registers is r and uh, uh, our cost instruction cost is either one either this one is less than or equal to some instruction cost i and uh, this instruction cost is less than or equal to number of registers that means we are having uh, some efficient register that's why we can easily generate the target code for this particular dynamic expression so and then second one is we can performing the traversing so by using the cost vectors so with the help of this cost vector we can determine the uh, which sub tree must be computed first or which sub tree must be uh, what is that uh, which which sub tree must be uh, fetched into memory so decoded into memory or fetched into memory so for that purpose we can must be use some cost vector cost vectors based on these cost vectors we can identify or we can find uh, which one is the uh, first copied into the memory to releasing the registers so at the same way third one is traverse each tree so not only node each tree using the cost vectors so in second one we can performing the traverse for each and every sub tree only so now we can performing the traversing for each and every tree so that cost vector based on their cost vectors and based on these cost vectors we can evaluate what are the instructions so such instructions can be which type of target code or finally which can generate the whatever the final target code so based on these instructions we can find the final target code so this code is the uh, this code is the combinations or combine of the sub trees that means uh, that code is computed from several sub trees so finally those enter information can be copied into the several memory locations after that those registers can be allocated for any other dynamic program so this is the process of implementing the target code for dynamic programming thank you